previously we installed a your backup um, server inclined to re rest uh, to backup a whole system image uh, what we did was that hyper we so what we did was we installed your backup client as server on server and we install your backup client on our windows 10 machine and that client created the whole system image sent it uh, over the network to our server and stored it over there now what i want to do is i want to create even though it's to restore at the same device most probably what i want to do is i want to create a blank hard disk uh, computer virtual machine and install that operating system that's a system image of this uh, machine into the other one uh, let's see if uh, that's possible let's create a new virtual machine <coughs> we're gonna name it test and we're gonna give it 2048 nope we cannot because of numlock 2048 we're gonna the connection should be default switch I'm gonna give it 50 GB of hardest speed uh, space over here if you remember uh, in the past we'll click here and provide it an ice over here for server all that or Windows 10 this time we click install and operating system later so it is going to be a blank mm, uh, disk so do you see it's off I'm gonna run it and I'm gonna click on start <coughs> it started and you see it says boot failure there's no operating system so of course it's failed now I'm gonna go and install or download our your backup client oh I'm sorry this restore CD and I'm gonna then save it on my USB stick and oh it's already an ISO that's good news so I was uh, thinking that I have to install an ISO and then I saw a setting somewhere over here that you can actually uh, give your virtual machine access to your uh, media uh, devices for example uh, DVD player CD player or uh, your USB port but since it's already an ISO what I can do is I can simply mount it as an uh, USB or CD DVD to that it's media DVD drive insert disk and if it's right there we click it and so, so let's suppose uh, you had a computer you insert the, the CD uh, push the tray in then you press any key so I'm gonna press enter on my computer and okay so I was thinking that it will say like when you install the windows it gives you an option um, something like uh, um, like install windows restore backup all that um, so it's just this an image and I was not expecting an image actually <laughs> I was expecting something like text uh, and it's doing nothing memory networking okay I don't know if uh, that's how it's supposed to be I'm gonna pause this video over here give it a few minutes I don't want video to be get too long and see if something uh, like it moves uh, like with the if you remember how Linux works um, the Ubuntu it uh, loads everything into ROM if it's something like that maybe I'm not sure so I'm gonna pause the video here <coughs> so this uh, 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 appears and uh, it's a clickable I'm guessing but before I press enter on it I'm gonna run the server because we know that the, that's where the image is uh, uh, <coughs> stored 
So I'm gonna let the son of a run because I uh, the, when it's gonna uh, this, uh, connect because we know when it's gonna search for this uh, image uh, the backup uh, that's where it's stored here on server so I wanted to do it automatically and smoothly. Lately, the server machine runs uh, takes longer and longer. Okay, we need to give the administrator password to it. All right, so server is up. Let's give it uh, your backup running and remember the backup runs off in a browser uh, at this port no paths to backup configured that is not good or oh, there are backups saved 372 and 6.91 okay good <coughs> status <coughs> this uh, is a little concerning image backup status is okay file oh for that's for file so I'm um, let's see if it finds the backup yeah oh good there you go American English and um, oh, it basically saying that uh, there's no important data on your hard disk. Um, so there's nothing, and right now it's not actually copying. If you see on the <coughs> top uh, right here around this, it's saying searching for backup servers. Um, Uh, the machine is basically like pre-boot environment or uh, pre-GUI so my cursor uh, cursor does not work over there but I just hope that it does not ask me for um, an IP address or a path to configure on this uh, on this black machine for the image location I'm just hoping that it gets the image automatically Okay, almost there, 99%. Okay, oh, okay, Win10. <clears throat> if you remember, this machine is called Win10, and it's saying, please like your computer name, and this new computer does not have a name. So, uh, uh, my understanding or assumption at this point is that since it's, uh, the name implies it's a backup thing, and if, for example, if we had 10 computers, with 10 different names and each computer had a client and each client cloned its system uh, like backed up with the entire image onto the server so we'll have 10 different names that's why one is over there <coughs> so if we had 10 we could go and you know uh, up and down and restore the backup but uh, that's not the case but it's neat the feature is neat oops uh, click here 
click OK and it's asking for the date and volume which you want to restore and if you see here 13 22 14 so that's right we're gonna go and enter it's saying size 4 key and virtual desk or oh, 4k uh, I think it's 4 kilobyte uh, and I'm assuming that's the MBR even on a virtual disk there is an MBR I'm gonna go with 50g it says that it will be ever returned removed all that but yeah and if you look at the second line or third it is MBR so that was MBR and now uh, it's actually installing the image if you see on the top there it's saying restoration uh, restoration um, my first uh, imaging software was uh, Northern Coast but for that you had to be on a machine like you had to actually uh, go to each machine physically and to like get the image uh, like you have to do it manually yeah there was no automated with your backup the neat feature is that you can install um, uh, one server on any machine it, it should it does not have to be a actual server uh, just a, a computer with the uh, two uh, grade of a uh, storage space you can install the server over there your backup server and then you can install client machines on all those uh, other machine that you want to be uh, backed up so all those client everything gets to automatically over your network they make an image uh, and send it over the network to that uh, server mach uh, computer uh, which uh, has a obviously uh, um, a very large hard disk um, I will say that if you have like a, if you have let's say 10 computers with uh, 50 GB each then your server computer will have let's suppose one terabyte and that is solely just to back up all those 10 computers so that's how you have a permanent backup and if we had seen the um, settings over there it's done I, I believe it was 30 days and then 60 days for full system backup and and there was an option to that it will delete it after a certain number of days so yeah a one terabyte hard disk will do and it will keep a, a backup of all those 10 machines it's neat uh, like it's automated you don't have to do it all the time or you do have to don't have to do actually go and do it manually you can just set it up and forget and it's done automatically that's nice
So, while I was away um, for a minute, it's asking me to restart the computer. Let's do the RX asking, make Windows bootable on different hardware. Restore other volume. We just have one. Stop restore. You know, we're going to restart it. Ah, we forgot to do that. Okay. So we can eject it. And we're going to click Control Alt Delete. And there is the Windows logo. That's a welcome sight. I. And if you look at this way, uh, the installation was much faster. Uh, much faster than uh, installing uh, <coughs> Windows from CD. But uh, since it's imaging, I will recommend that all the machines are exactly the same in terms of processor, motherboard, memory, and hard disk, and all that. So, yeah, even though, like modern computers, they are extremely intelligent, uh, the software is uh, extremely brushed up, uh, they will just pop up and whatever they find, and you can fix it. But I will suggest it. So, I'm gonna click on connect. And we're gonna ho see. Okay, so I was thinking that what would like it will automatically join the uh, have the all the configuration to join the domain. It seems like it does. <coughs> I'm gonna give the password uh, for the domain and see if that works. And it did not. I was expecting that because even my other virtual machine uh, this one uh, right here um, this Windows 10 does exactly the same thing exactly the same message and I haven't uh, searched why it's doing it I, I do know that they are like under their motor thing uh, I should actually go and make sure let's get that message let's Remote desktop users group. Remote desktop user group. Okay, <coughs> I can do that. So the workaround is first you log in the local user and then log back out and uh, log in with the domain user. Uh, since I just, uh, uh, we just wanted to see if the your backup works. I, I still have to go and uh, figure that one out. All right, that's beautiful. We see it's uh, giving us 74 days rather than 90 days. So basically it's an exact replica of uh, the Windows machine. And yeah, this thing, this thing, ever since this, that uh, Windows uh, update, cumulative update came about uh, maybe two days ago or three days this has happening on all of the virtual machines running Windows 10 basically what's doing is that it's incrementing a network name and saying give that message uh, yesterday um, my Windows 10 machine right here this one no the server server was not actually uh, had no internet yeah, on the network it was it was saying my domain name and there was a triangle over here or yellow saying no internet I tried uh, disabling and enabling the Ethernet adapter a uh, that did not do I tried to go to the settings but uh, there was an error message for DLL 32 something and <coughs> so what uh, did fix it uh, I don't know how why but I ran the IP config in the command prompt and somehow it got a new IP address and it started working. That's a neat trick if you uh, if you, if you were wondering. <coughs> oh, I remember another one. Um, do you see this? If you go to settings, this bias. So basically these virtual machines, they have their own uh, bias. It's not the full-fledged, it's just to make which one is the um, first choice uh, to look for the boot media 
right now it's grayed out but uh, which machine this machine is not on setting you see uh, they are clickable and they can you can move up and down just like uh, in a regular bias so that was another trick now if you look here you see this is a test machine it has the we just installed uh, restored the image it picked up all the softwares so imaging is very powerful uh, in case you have like uh, you have to deploy 100 computers uh, think about it are you going to go and install windows on each of them sure you're gonna test say yeah you're gonna deploy the image as well but what if you have to deploy Microsoft Office uh, some browsers uh, Firefox or Google Chrome um, you have to add a few add-ons in browser and on uh, in office like macros and you have to install maybe another software or two like PDF or something or so just like you have to make that uh, computer productive but uh, it's not one you have to do it on all of them like for example 100 you you you're seeing how fast your workload uh, multiplied so with imaging you can configure single machine to the fullest you can install the windows you can install all the software necessary office browsers uh, macros um, add-ons and PDF and whatever and and you update it fully you can apply the policies whatever the local policies uh, for example uh, at my uh, work they don't have this and this totally so you can do that but then you have to for you have to go to each and every single one of that hundred computers and make all the changes manually with imaging you do this on one computer image it and then deploy it this image onto multiple computers and get the job done this is bas basically this is just one of many ways you can do it with window deployment uh, as well but uh, that's for another day right now uh, this is it I just wanted to see that uh, will it work or not it worked I'm gonna shut down this one and call it a day thank you for watching if you liked it uh, please comment share and subscribe and you have a good night